Inmates, how's life buying bars? Not these bars, but these bars. So, you've just had this come through the post, or you've ordered one and you're waiting for it and it's on its way. This video is gonna be the most recent one, most latest one, where we are showing you exactly how to put it on because we've already got, as I'm making this video, we've already got over 1,200 ammo guards in circulation around the world. As with any new product, you always get a few little teething problems. We have ironed those out straight away for those customers. Overall, out of the whole 1,200 that have been delivered so far, the result has been fantastic. Everyone's really pleased with them. There's pictures all over social media, people showing them. So I just want to make sure that everyone knows exactly how to install their ammo in the best way possible to get the very best results. The first things we're going to do is undo the four screws on the front and then take off the factory bezel. So let's do that now. Right, so now all the four screws are out. What we're gonna do is we take the pivot the front down. Now you might find it just comes off just like this, like mine has, but it can get stuck just here. And it shows it in the instructions, but as you pull it down, you need to kind of like wiggle it and eventually you'll see this here on the back. That clips over a tiny little lug just behind here. So that has to come off. So some I hear get a bit sticky, so you just need to give it a wiggle and eventually it will come off, okay? You shouldn't need to use any screwdriver or anything to try and get it off. Yeah, there it is, it comes off. The four screws I just took out of here, you can put those away because we won't be using those again. Now the next thing we're gonna do is clean this thoroughly. I'm using an alcohol-based cleaner, which we actually sell it here. It's, it's very expensive stuff, but it's very, very good. And uh, just gonna get that all on here. Now, we're not just cleaning the headlight, this part here, we're also cleaning the leading edge going around the back casing. This is all part of the headlight unit. So th this leading edge, this black leading edge, has to make a secure fit to the ammo guard. That is what keeps all the, the rainwater away so water can't get in. Right, now at the very, very bottom of here, because just to show you the bezel again, so the bezel is not a screen, look. There's no glass in there, it just sits on top of the front, okay? That is what is exposed to all the elements. And we're gonna cover this up. So this is never supposed to be waterproof. This is never supposed to be waterproof, this bezel. So the reason I mention that is because at the bottom down here, which is very hard to see on camera, but there's a little cutout. And um, looking back at the bezel again, it's for this little thing here. So you can see it just there where my finger's tapping. That just sits into there. It's just like a cutout, so it just pops into it. In the instructions, you'll see you get this little bag of goodies in inside the box. So in this bag, you've got replacement screws which I'll show you in a, in a moment. And you've also got the new screws that are gonna go into here. Uh, what you'll notice is in this bag of screws is you've got four screws with a very fine pitched thread, and then you've got another four screws with a, a thicker pitched thread, which is the exact same thread used that we just took out of here, but they're a little bit longer and they've got a point on the end, all right? Now, inside this bag is a little black bung. We're gonna put that black bung in there. If you don't fit the little bung inside there, what that means is the inside of the ammo, the void in between the headlight and the ammo, is more breathable. So if moisture was to get in, it can breathe more easily, which means any, any condensation that might come on the inside will disappear after a few moments. If we block it up, which I'm gonna do, then obviously it can't breathe. But that does also mean rainwater can't get up. Even though rain obviously is gravity fed, when you're on your bike, water will find a way in through that hole just because of the, the way how the air comes into the bike. It will find a way up there and you'll find splashes could come up in between the ammo lens and the headlight. And those splashes will obviously cause moisture, but that, that moisture will dry out because the bung's not there. So I'm finding here in the UK with our weather that by using that bung, 
I'm not getting any condensation anyway. As long as we fit it properly, like I'm gonna do now, you won't have any problems. And also, don't use a pressure washer really up close. Like I use a pressure washer on my bike, but I don't take it up close, especially not around the ammo guard, because if you try and force that seal to break, well then you will succeed with a pressure washer. Using a pair of pliers, we're just gonna come down here and pop that inside there. And as I push it with my finger, I'm just focusing on the leading edge of the housing, this casing around the edge is gonna be flush with the front of this. So don't push it too hard so it goes back too far. Um, like it can't go back any further anyway, but just try and make sure it's not too proud and it's just not stuck in too far. So we've got a nice bridge. It's basically you're completing the bridge going across that join. So I wanted to show you both the X and the G light here. So on the left, I've got the X and on the right, I've got the G light. So a lot of people ask me questions. They don't know whether they want the G or the X. It, it's an incredible amount of people who don't know what they've got on their bike. Uh, if you've got a bike which is pre-2021, so this is before the adaptive headlight, it's got like a C-shaped horseshoe as a DRL. That, for whatever reason, I didn't call it the G light, but it's known as the G light, okay? When we got to 2021 and onwards, BMW introduced the adaptive headlight that go, you know, dips down and goes around corners and that sort of thing. And it's got an X-shaped DRL. It's like a tuning fork with, with an X, which is this one here, which is what's on my bike. So that is the difference between the G-light and the X-light. And I just thought it would be easier to describe it like that than try to explain it as, do you have the adaptive headlight or the non-adaptive headlight? Because I find a lot of people have no idea if they have the adaptive or not. All right. So as you open the box, it comes out literally just like this. You've got the instructions, you've got a foam top. There's your screwdriver. So it comes with this screwdriver so you can undo your bezel. There's your bag of extra screws and the rubber bung that we've just fitted. And then here is the ammo itself. Now, I've also had a lot of people say to me, Steve, I didn't order the, the amber lens, I ordered the clear lens. Now, if you read the instructions in the description, I hope you can't hear the frustration in my voice, um, but um, you automatically get the amber for free, okay? So it's up to you whether you want to remove it or not. So it comes with a clear lens and with an amber backing. Now, what we need to do, inside here, we've got longer screws because we've got the clear and the amber. Very carefully, we need to undo these four screws. I'm not gonna do it to this one because this is a brand new one. This is going back in here. We're, we, I've already done what I need to do to mine. But we undo these four screws and then you've got two little clips, top and lower there. We very carefully remove the amber lens. This is if you want to just have a clear one. Now, if you've decided to go and have the mirror, then, then you'll have one of these also in your package. So this is an extra item. This doesn't come with it if you buy the standard model. You have to add this on. If you haven't bought it and you've already bought the ammo, you can still buy this on our website. We are listing it as a separate item as well. So we undo the packaging, we lift out both the amber and the clear, and then we offer the, the mirror inside the bezel. Click it into place, line up the holes, but instead of using the screws that came out of the ammo, we use the shorter screws that are in the bag because we don't need such long screws. If you decided to buy one of the yellow lenses, now this is a G lens, this is not the X, so this, this will be for the one over to the right hand side, not for this one. Well then, you can put that in as well. A lot of people are ordering the yellow filters with the mirror. Obviously you don't get to see the yellow until the headlight has been turned on and where the, the mirror then obviously disappears. But there's the yellow. So if you use the yellow in the mirror or the yellow in the clear, uh, you, you still have to use the longer screws that came already pre-assembled inside the ammo. Here is one I did earlier. There we are, is the camera and me. So as you can see inside there, we don't go super tight, we don't have to. We just have to be very, very careful when we put this in place, square it all up, make sure the, the little clips here are in place and then put the screws in and tighten them up in an even pattern. Until you, so you know you're happy with the compression that's around the edge. Okay, now the other thing to point out is the seal on the outside edge. Now you'll notice we've got an assembly name inside every single ammo. Uh, we have several builders working for us. 
we make sure all assemblies are done to a very high quality standard and we obviously want to hold those builders account in case there's any issues with any of the ammos that are out there. Now, you're probably looking at it thinking it takes a few seconds to fit that seal. It doesn't, it takes ages. The seal that sits in between the bezel and the, the lens takes even longer. It has to go in wet and then the one on the outside uh, goes on very carefully as well. Now, I do need people to pay attention to make sure just in case through transit or whatever that the seal is all intact. It's pushed right into all the edges and it's, it's a, a good quality finish and there's no overlap anywhere. There shouldn't be anywhere. You've got these small, the four small holes which we're going to be putting the screws into. Now, what we're about to do is offer it up to the bike, but we need to make sure that these holes sit nicely on the standoffs that are on the bike. So let's do that now. So I've made sure there's no dust inside here. It's as clean as I can get it. And I've given this a really, really good clean as well. And now we're going to offer it up. So it's a case of just being very careful and feeling for those standoffs slotting inside the holes in the back of the bezel. Okay. You know if you want to get it right, because when it rains, it'll leak. Now, making sure I've got the four longer screws that came in the pack, I'm going to start putting these in. Don't tighten them up all the way to begin with. I just want you to get them in like so. Okay, I'm happy with that. They're on nice and secure. So maybe turn that on. And there we go. Okay, so that's it. That's how easy it is to put your ammo on your bike. And as far as cleaning goes, just use the normal things, you know, wash your bike as per usual. Just use normal products that you'd use on your bike to clean your ammo to keep it looking its best. Okay, any problems though, ping us an email, team at a bike and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Actually, I just want to say one other thing. We've got a brand new product coming soon. Now, I've already seen it on a bike about six weeks ago. It is a game changer. This is better than the ammo. I'm not going to announce it. I'm not going to make it available for pre-order. Unfortunately, the pre-order situation, the back-order situation was a complete shambles. We did everything we could, even me on holiday. Uh, I couldn't get fully away because of the pre-order situation and a lot of impatience. I know a lot of you out there have been great, but some of you have been an absolutely pain in the proverbial. So we're never going to do a pre-order ever again. Anyway, this new product, Stick Around, is going to be incredible. It's a game changer. It's something that we've all been talking about ever since we got our 21 bike. It's something that we want. It's something that we need. It's something that's been driving us crazy and we've got the answer to it. It's coming very soon. In the meantime, stay safe, Pine Bars, and I'll see you in the next video.